What's going on, everybody? Borna AK Hawk here, and man, the week two injury report against the Dallas Cowboys is pretty, pretty comprehensive. We have a lot of names, a lot to discuss. Before we get into the video, everybody, all I ask is hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on those post bell notifications, follow me on Twitter, and join the Discord. Let's get to 2,000 subscribers. So here we go, guys. Dallas Cowboys, Los Angeles Chargers, about 48 hours from the time I'm recording this video to kickoff. Chris Harris Jr. was a surprise name. So he's dealing with a shoulder injury. He is considered and he is deemed out on Sunday against week two. What does that mean? Asante Samuel Jr. Brandon Staley said he wants to keep him still on the outside. So it looks like ASJ, the young rookie from Florida State, is going to be tested. Seeing a lot of Amari Cooper, seeing a lot of CeeDee Lamb, going to be a true test. And then Derwin James is going to be moved into a slot corner position for a good amount of this football game. Number one. Number two, Brian Balaga, he's on the IR, the whole groin back issue, that thing's fucked. He's going to be out for at least a month. What does that mean? It looks like Storm Norton is swing tackle number one. We're going to see a lot of Storm Norton at right tackle. We're going to see Storm Norton at right tackle. We're going to be a big test. It does help that there is no Demarcus Lawrence or that there is no Randy Gregory for the Chargers offensive line. Should be an easier time against this Cowboys front four than it was against Washington's front four. Now, Nasir Adderley, especially if Derwin's moving to the slot, Nasir's groin is questionable. He is dealing with the groin. Um, will Nasir play? I didn't even think he was that great. Um week one in Washington, but he was limited in practice today. Kyler Fackrell played, that's great. The biggest ones are Justin Jones will probably not play either. The biggest one though is Chris Harris Jr. That one came out of nowhere. So that that changes a lot of things in the secondary, especially if Adderley doesn't play and moves Derwin to the slot. Asante Samuel has a bigger responsibility and Storm Norton moving to right tackle for Balaga's absence. That's really the biggest injury report. Vizcaino is finally back. He's feeling better and thank God we didn't have any kicker on the practice squad or anything. Again, no Randy Gregory, no Michael Gallup, no Demarcus Lawrence and the questionability of Zach Martin is still up in the air. We shall find out about that shortly. That's the quick week two injury report.